Good afternoon, good morning, I think, 11.35. Good morning, today we're going to be analyzing polynomial functions, all right? And can I get a solo? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Louder. Yeah, Louder. Yay, math. Louder. Yay, math. Louder. Yay, math. Thank you. Math, yay. All right. Yay, math. You guys are very original. <laughs> yay, math. <laughs> <laughs> yay, math. Great. Pass. Yay, math. Nice one. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, mom. Wow. You're underwater. Yay, yeah, for you? Yay, yeah, math. That was very original. What about you? Pass. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. The question. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. With a little flick of the hair. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. Yay, yeah, math. is like home skill style. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yay, Matt. Yay, Matt. Yay, Matt. Yay, Matt. All right. So I'm going to need uh, your cooperation and attention. This is a very theoretical concept. And uh, it takes some thought, but you're going to get it. All right. So first and foremost, let's talk about the parabola. Y equals x squared. All right. What does y equals x squared look like? A parabola. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So notice. Parabola. Let's do it in red. And now, first we're going to start defining some terms. The degree of this term is a degree two. This is a second degree function. All right, the degree is the biggest power, so degree two. So y equals x cubed would be degree three, three a third degree function. x squared, a second degree function, the biggest power. So x cubed, third degree function, it could be like this, x squared plus two x, you know, on and on, but this is still a third degree function, it's the biggest power, all right? So we're focusing on the biggest power. Okay, imagine this was another one. x cubed plus x squared plus 2x equals 0. This is a third degree function because the biggest power is a 3. Okay, any other questions about that? Feel free, it's okay. Yes? So that one's a second degree power? This is a second degree function. Even if it had plus x or plus 9 or whatever, it's still second degree function because of the biggest power. All right, so second degree function and third degree function and on and on. Now that we've defined the term, now let's look at this. We are going to describe what's called the end behavior. Okay, end behavior. End behavior. That's not how you behave when you're about to die or anything. Based on the degree? End behavior is the based on the degree, correct. All right, here we go. End behavior always begins with the following phrase. As, why don't I make it bigger? Here we go. As x approaches infinity. Okay. F of x. Do you care that you're out of frame right Approaches. Uh, yeah, I do, but I'm, on, I'm cool on the screen. Don't no, you're sweat. not. Even on the screen, when you're writing, no, like, he's not but your writing. Don't worry, it's all good. I'm, I'm good at this spot. Don't worry. Thank you. Long Thank long you. Long. We got a rookie, everyone. Welcome the rookie. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right, rookie, we got it covered. Enjoy us. Enjoy us. Enjoy the process. The math is important. It's not, I'm, it's not about me. It's about the education. All right. <laughs> So f of x, remember f of x is another way of saying y, okay? So when we say f of x, we're thinking y. Notice, focus on the red. Do you agree that as we progress up this parabola, this point and this point and this point, x is getting larger and larger? Yeah. Yeah. x is getting larger, thus x is going towards infinity. x is getting bigger and bigger, all right? So on each point, as x gets bigger and bigger, what's happening to y? Why is, why is getting bigger, bigger, smaller bigger. or bigger here? Bigger. bigger. So why is also approaching infinity? infinity. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, 
White. The symbol for infinity is an eight on its side. It's like a mask, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you call it? You still call it f of x? You don't f of x is another way of calling a y. I say y, but the book you'll see f of x. It's the function of x. So it doesn't matter? Stick with f of x. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm writing it. And then the second half of this statement, as x approaches negative infinity. All right. We'll say that f of x approaches something. Negative. We'll do that and we'll call it out. Hold on. No, just hold on for a sec. All right. Here, x is approaching negative infinity because, noticing, every point on this parabola for x is getting smaller or bigger here? Smaller. Smaller, right, because we're going to the left. People think it looks like it's getting bigger. Oh, why is so Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. So, I know you're eager, it's good, it's good. Because if you're one step ahead, then everyone won't have a chance to think, okay? So I appreciate it. So, if uh, x is getting bigger and bigger in this case, excuse me, x is getting smaller and smaller in this case because we're moving to the left, what's happening to y here? It's getting bigger. Is y getting bigger or smaller as we go from point to point? Smaller. Why is smaller? Smaller. 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 <laughs> smaller. Dilemma. Why is still getting bigger? bigger? Why is bigger? If y bigger. goes down, oh, then why, it gets why, smaller. X, no, it why is bigger? I yeah. Is X is getting small because this point, let's say this point is negative 1 something for X, and this is negative 3 something for X. So X went from negative 1 to negative 3 to negative 5, let's say. So X is getting smaller and smaller. So that's getting to negative infinity. But y is getting bigger because we're going up. So f of x approaches positive infinity as well. Wait, but I thought that y is getting, I thought they're both getting smaller. Look at it closely. This point to this point to this point. Now in terms of left and right, we went to the left, right? <coughs> so is that smaller for x or bigger? Smaller. smaller. So as x is getting smaller, going to negative infinity. Now this point to this point, think of y. Is y getting bigger or smaller? Bigger. From here to here. Did we go up? That's y. Right? That's up. Mm. Did we go up? Mm. So y is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. As x is getting smaller, y is getting bigger. As x is getting smaller, f of x or y is getting bigger. And what would be the top? As X is bigger, so does Y? Yes. So this is, we just described the end behavior of a parabola, which is an even function. Even meaning the degree is 2. Okay? The degree is 2. Let's... So it would be an odd function so if it's they, X to the third. Right. Good. That's exactly where I was going. If you have X squared and then whatever after it, or X to the 4 and then something after it, or X to the 6 and something after it, those are called even functions. Even. Okay. And then an odd function would be x to the third, no, third or x to the how about, nine. How about the ninth or fifth? The Seven. Still any by number by it's even. What if any it's a prime number? Odd or even? It doesn't matter. What about so even if it's negative? X is so odd. X, and x to the one. Like yeah. Odd. So x to the second is even, x to the fourth is even, x to the third is odd, all right? So we just did the end behavior for a parabola. Now I want to show you some more. All right, check out this shape. What if you had something like this? Okay. There is, there are certain distinctions about even versus odd functions. The last one we did was an even function and it was a parabola, okay? If we had a negative parabola, it would go down like this. That's to the third. Right? 